know. <laughs> Let's wrap it up. to Amsterdam. I am Alani Maj. If you're new here, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're old, welcome back. And as always, thank you all so much for joining me. We in the damn, y'all. The current time is 12.50. My crew and I have decided that we're going to just chill for a while, take a nap until like 3 o'clock, and then we're going to link up and hit the streets. And the plan is to stay out all night. We'll see if we hold up that end of the bar again. I didn't give y'all a lot of content that is focused on flight attendant life. If you're new here, I am a flight attendant. Excuse me if I look insane. I've been up since about 8 or 9 a.m. yesterday. The current time back home is 6.53 a.m. today. We did have like a two hour-ish crew rest break, but I wasn't able to go to sleep during that time. Um, so yeah, forgive me if I look crazy. Uh, anyway, in this particular vlog, I decided that I was going to focus a lot more on the layover itself and things to do in the destination as opposed to flight attendant life and the things that that entail. If you guys are interested in the flight attendant part of what I have going on, I can definitely make a video in the future on my next international trip that includes more details about the flight attendant aspects of the trip itself. But I figured that most people would just be interested in things to do in Amsterdam type of thing so I figured I would just focus on the layover and what we get into um today and to tonight and tomorrow morning but anyway that's all for now I will check in with y'all once I'm dressed and ready to hit the streets with my crew in a couple hours and yeah definitely stay tuned y'all excuse the mess in the background excuse my face excuse my hair i didn't have time to do either one of those because that's a whole nother story for another day but this is the outfit so here's the look this shirt was actually thrifted i found it at a random thrift store and these leather um pants are from shein gold anklet gucci sandals i'm wearing my gucci bag the earrings are anna luisa the chain is like rainbow this one's from a jeweler the ring and the matching bracelet are both from amazon and then this bracelet here at the top is from my grandma's collection from some jeweler i think um but yeah this is the fit and that's that see y'all the street. Oh, this is steep. Let me pay attention. All right, so we're about to do the Lover's Canal Cruises. Like I said, the ferry, because of the rain, is in off, okay? But the cruises are available, and we got the semi-open situation, just in case it starts raining. It's only 15 euros for one hour on the cruise, so super cool, super cheap, and yeah, we're leaving in like, I don't even know, 10 minutes? 4.30? 15 minutes? It's up. It's up, kiddos. Makes Amsterdam. And around there, we have these beautiful circles or canals, we call them. Circling actually around 
the starting point and cutting uh, up all these islands. So uh, I will head off now. There are no angry bikers on board, luckily. So turn your head in all directions and enjoy it now. Thank you very much. Canal Tours. Is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. Um, amazing experience. Highly recommend. I'm no tour guide, but I hope y'all enjoyed the little bit of commentary and history that I shared with you all during that process. I think we're walking to meet the rest of the crew. Um, five of us did the tour. Two went shopping. I think we're about to meet them shopping. Um, probably do a little bit of shopping. Find some food and go from there. So I'll check in when we catch up with the rest of the girls and the guys. <laughs> All right, hey guys, if the quality has changed, it's because I'm on my phone, not my camera. My camera's in my bag under this poncho because it is raining here in Amsterdam. I'm glad that we were able to do the canal tour while it was still, you know, kind of sunshine and good weather. Um, but yeah, it's definitely raining now and my fit was not, was not it. So I'm walking around looking like a damn hobo, but that's all right. That is all right. It's been a nice shopping day. I will do a haul when we get back to the um, hotel. Right now we're on our way to find something to eat. We don't know where we going. Oh, I need something to eat because them fries have came and gone, okay? So I'll check back in when we get there. I just wanted to give y'all a quick update because it's been a few hours and I've been MIA, but we just been shopping. What else is there doing here? What's up? Cheers. Alright y'all, we're leaving the grasshopper for dinner. It is 10 p.m. If y'all don't believe me, hold up. Hold up. 
9.57 p.m. And look at outside. This is insane. Kind of weird. It's kind of weird. We are entering the red light district, darling. Hey y'all, it's about 11.30. We made it back into the room from the red light district. That was the final stop on today's tour. Very interesting experience. Something I didn't know. I did know, of course, that prostitution is legal here. I did know that the girls stand, dance, and flirt, whatever, in the windows, attempting to sell their goods okay i knew that what i did not know is that there were live sex shows nobody told me that so we're walking through red light district we see the ladies and then we see certain spots that have like these lines out the door like it's a club or a bar or something so i'm like hey do y'all want to go in grab a drink i only have one drink at dinner so i'm like okay we can go in have a drink real quick and then keep it moving and they're like that's a that's a sex show i said what do you mean <laughs> That's a live sex performance. Like you buy tickets to watch people have intercourse. I said, oh no. <laughs> Let's wrap it up. So yeah, I had no idea. That's crazy. Amsterdam is real fluid, I guess. I don't know. Anywho, um, I'm going to give y'all, as promised, a quick haul of the things that I purchased today. I only purchased from Primark and Zara. Zara, I know for a fact I would have found more stuff if it wasn't closing because when I got there it was already closing there was three levels the first level I was able to kind of shift through and then check out but the second level I wasn't even able to get to and I was going to go and then like they literally shut the escalators off because the store was shutting down you can only come down from the third or the second floor to check out on the first floor there's no need for you to go up because there's nothing up there for you so <laughs> that was a done deal I know I would have found more stuff had I had more time it's not a whole lot of stuff but real quick I'm going to show y'all what I purchased and then I'm going to pack my bag for tomorrow. The plan tomorrow morning is to get up around 7, 7.30, um, head downstairs and meet my crew by like 7.50-ish, 8 o'clock. We're going to go to the grocery store and do some grocery shopping real quick before we leave. So that's the plan for that. But anyway, as far as tonight goes, I got to show y'all my purchases. So let's get into the try on haul. First up from Primark, I have this all black slim fit workout set. These leggings. I don't know if y'all can see the detail in this at all probably not and the matching shirt both in a size medium i probably won't wear it to work out um i never work out at all but i think the set is cute for like running errands or even a quick airport fit next up is this top i obviously wouldn't wear these two pieces together and i wish i would have gotten this in a smaller size i think i got it in a large i did and i wasn't able to try it on in store because people were waiting on me so i was rushing but it was 10 euros i got it in a large i wish i would have sized down but i hope maybe it shrinks so it fits you know a little tighter but the top itself is cute it's like a sweater material again won't be wearing these two pieces together but just wanted to show you guys the paperback shorts that i purchased from primark today as well they are a size us 12 and in my opinion extremely ill-fitting like i said i was rushing so i wasn't able to try any of these pieces on i just kind of picked them up and hoped for the best but these i'm not a fan of <laughs> y'all i know i know i know and it is not giving at all what i was supposed to give i thought it was just like the hanger not doing the dress justice but there's no justice to be served in this dress period like my vision let me just explain myself because i look a mess my vision was like a big straw hat and a big um like straw summer tote some espadrille sandals my big beach towel like the work some shades like a whole look, a white bikini underneath, or maybe even some white or mess sandals. Like, I don't know. Like, that was the vision that I had. So, like, a family friendly day to the beach that's still classy and ladylike and all of those things. You know, that was the vision. This ain't that. This ain't that. Like, I look like a sack of potatoes. I really wanted to like it. 
and I thought it would just be like a nice little, you know, but it's just a no. I don't know what's going on. I'm about to switch to my phone for the last few pieces because this is not it. All right, sorry y'all, but we're bringing back Old Faithful to show you guys this number from Zara. I got it for $36.95, is that right? $99, and the original price was $59.90. I can't read backwards, but y'all should be able to see what it say. Like, basically, I got it for half off, and I think this is very cute. I think it was only on sale because um, it's heavy as fuck, and nobody's buying these thick wool dresses in the middle of the summer except for me but i'm so glad she was still there and available in my size because i will be rocking the hell out of this when the season permits with some like white sneakers and a nice off white cross body bag i think that would be such a vibe it's giving europe honestly but yeah i really like this Still rocking with the phone because I don't know what's going on with my camera. But also from Zara, I picked up this pink little skater dress, which I think is super cute. I don't know where the hell I'm going to wear it, but I think it's cute. It was $29.99. I got it for $19.99. I can't resist the red tag. I just can't because any other day, any other time, I would not have purchased this dress. But when it's $10 off, I'm like, hmm, I might wear it one day. Now that I have this on... I hate it. I'm going to cover my boobs because it's a little bit see-through. But I don't think this is that cute at, at all. I thought it would make a cute summer dress. But I don't know about this cutout. I don't like the way it fits or doesn't fit um, in the small of my back. I could do this number to kind of close it up a little. But then I don't like what happens in this area. I don't know. I don't think I'm a fan. I think... This also will be going back. See what happens when I see a sale? This is the shit that happens when I see a sale. Actually, I just peeped that this is my final piece from Zara and my final piece of today's haul. Aside from, let me show you these shoes I picked up at Primark, just in case. I picked up these. They also were available in orange, but they didn't have my size. I really wanted the orange ones, but I think these are very cute for like a beach look, big hat, big bag, straw things all of that so yeah i picked up those as well i haven't actually tried them on so i need to do that to make sure that they fit but you know it is what it is that's a wrap i've already told y'all what the plan is for tomorrow so i'm about to get undressed take a nice shower pack my bag um and get everything i need ready for the morning it it has been an amazing, fun-filled day. I am so grateful for my crew. Of course, there are a few things that I wasn't able to do that I would like to do here in Amsterdam, but I can always come back. I check a few things off my Amsterdam bucket list every time I visit, and after a few times, I can be a tour guide, period. Good morning, y'all. I look very tired because I am. It's 8 a.m. here in Amsterdam, and we're making a uh, quick trip, I can't speak, to the grocery store. I'm with four other of my crew members, so all of us weren't able to make it but i just wanted to get up and get out for the day and see where it is so when i come next time and i don't have as amazing of a crew i kind of know my bearings as far as this goes maybe grab some wine some cheese some butter and yeah that's it i've been on throw up the sex in them uh-huh and i can put you in i can put you in I've been a go up the sex in the uh -huh. And I can put you in I can put you in I've been a go up the sex in the uh -huh. And I can put you in All right, hey y'all, back from the grocery store. I just had um, breakfast downstairs with my crew. I don't know what's going on with my camera still ever since last night. So I'm gonna have to use my phone for this quick grocery store haul. So if it's shaky and the quality's weird, I sincerely apologize and I'm gonna make it quick. <laughs> I didn't mean to go crazy, but I did. I got a green smoothie, mango, banana, apple, avocado, and spinach. I have another an orange juice which i don't know what this first one is but a mango apple something juice because that sounds good 
I also got a fresh squeeze orange juice that I've already busted open during breakfast. I got a bottle of Rioja. I got a bottle of Bellini Martini mix something. I don't know. That just sounded really good to me. I got this little vanilla bean macchiato from Starbucks. It's espresso and I might need it on my trip today. So I got this. We actually have an espresso maker on the plane. But this looks cute and I just wanted to try it. So there's that. I got some olives in balsamic. I want to make a um like a cheese board, a charcuterie board when I get home. So I just brought a bunch of stuff for that. Salami, ham, yellow Dutch mustard. I heard this is really good. I've never tried it, so we'll be doing that. Truffle mayonnaise. I love truffle. This is the mayonnaise. This is the one that everybody be talking about. So I got some of that as well. I got some little pickles. I can't read this and I hope that these are dill pickles and not like sweet pickles, but they're mini. So either way, I think they'll be good and I'll, ooh, I'll um, enjoy them. Okay, I got three cheeses for $5. This one, this one. And this one, I didn't get anything basic like a Swiss or a cheddar because I can get that at home. Um, I got the Old Faithful Saucy Butter that everybody likes. This is melting. I'm about to put that in the fridge. Um, I got some mini Stroot Waffles. I was going to get the large ones, but I like these because I can just drop them in my tea or my coffee. And then they melt down and sweeten said drink. So, yeah, Stroot Waffles, if you haven't tried them, they're delicious. I got some white chocolate macadamia nut cookies. Very excited about these. Along with this, I had a chocolate croissant. I had a raisin, some type of something. And then this apple, I don't know, a whole bunch of pastries for no reason. <laughs> because I love carbs. Um, a pesto hummus looks delicious. I will use that as a dip on my tray along with some little crackers. And that's it. Now I'm about to repack, pack my bags, and get ready for work. I have about an hour before I need to be downstairs. So y'all don't have time to chat. I'll see y'all maybe on the plane. 